welcome to this week in security. Week, ready for this, Bert? Week number six. Six. Whoa, already. Six already. <laughs> Where did the time go? There has been so many been things going on in the world since we've started. Oh my God, and we're already at episode oh, number six. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> so oh, what's big right now and i at least want to start with this one um salto just we're going we're hitting the ground running here guys oh. salto let's talk about salto for a second um you know what's awesome is that they're highlighting something that's really important and i feel like not a lot not enough companies are kind of just talking about this topic which you think it would be talked about a lot more they are highlighting the importance of cybersecurity to oh, yeah. safeguard touchless access control devices yes. and um this is specific um news is coming from securityinform.com so the big thing here is that you know with covid19 a lot of us were kind of many companies are transitioning from physical like physically based access control systems to cloud based access control systems and with that you know you need to increase your cybersecurity especially because a lot of communication between whatever it it whether it be internet of things devices between your system um, or just the device in general using mobile access control, uh, like sending e keys to your employees. It's very important because it's 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 not too hard for things to get kind of stolen or kind of or for data breaches to happen in the middle of these over the air kind of data transmissions, you know, if you will. So. The thing here that I appreciate Salto is doing is they are highlighting the importance of it all. Yes, yes, absolutely. Let us please not forget about cybersecurity. Because, yes. you know, you know, as I was reading through this news bit, I just thought to myself, like, man, you know, things are more convenient. It's like, oh, man, all this new tech touchless technology is coming out. And that's all you think about, like, man, this is great. You know, I don't have to like worry about pulling out this hardware or, you know, accessing some entry point with, with a key or something like that. But I never like, I guess I never thought about it until reading this, you know, this news bit that, you know, like, hey, you know, there are more things to be aware of, you know, you know, now that you have this convenience, you need to be more, more aware of like, you know, the holes that you could possibly have. With yeah convenience so this salto touches on and it highlights like hey yeah you know cyber security make sure you follow the lines to make sure those holes are covered you know with this convenience that a lot of us are getting in 2021 mm -hmm. and like one of the things in particular i mean there's just a couple of tips that they seem to have in this article salto recommends here in order to keep cybersecurity at top of mind is to always be encrypting and authenticating over the air data. It's quite simple, but like Bert and I were talking about, it's kind of easy to be on the back burner for a lot of companies when we're trying to rush into creating touchless access control systems and systems that work with our, the current state of the world. And the other thing is, is when it comes to mobile technology, because again, yeah, Bert and I talk about this a lot. Um, Salto recommends using AES 128 bit encryption, which helps prevent skimming, eavesdropping and replay attacks. And then finally, one of the last tips they got here um, is ensuring your products are certified to BSI enhanced level IoT kite mark standard. This will only demonstrate that a connected product that you're creating has a higher level of security controls in place than the market standard of its type, which is really important in this day and age. Absolutely. And I, and I say that at like it's been around for like this day and age that we're dealing with has been around for a while, but <laughs> 
for real. I mean, this is what we're going to, and these are the things we need to keep top of mind. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that is a good time for us to jump over into the next bit of news that came out this week in access control. And that news is about that cash flow, that money, that the like Nero, that I like that. Shows, all that good stuff. Let's talk about money. Boom. <laughs> so, you know, the news that dropped this week, the second bit of news came from Security Today. Um, uh, and it was the uh, access ID market predicted to grow following the 2020 decline. Oh, ho, ho. so <laughs> let's jump right into it. So it, it, someone did a report. Um, so there was an annual report um, that showed that sales of access control products declined to 7.9 billion billion in 2020. There was a decline to 7.9 billion. That's a lot of money. <laughs> um, the report um, came from the researchers at um, Memory. Memory. What's that, Manny? Uh, I was saying Memory. I oh, Memory. I don't know how I pronounced it wrong, guys. Forgive me later. <laughs> memory. I'm pronouncing it wrong, too. <laughs> at mem mem memory or Memory. We apologize. Yeah, just correct us in the comments, guys. In the comments, correct <laughs> <laughs> Give us later. I'm sorry. Um, so talking about it, so. <laughs> yeah. so with that being said, with that being said, um, Memoria also forecasted that by 2025, the world market should be worth 10 point point two, 10 point two billion. Um, a C A G R of approximately 5% over the next five years. And that is a huge increase. Um, mm -hmm. I would say that it has been, you know, problematic to size the market, you know, because of um, the confidence in 2020, you know, due to COVID-19, you know, things are still a little bit crazy. You know, there are still outbreaks in certain areas and stuff like that. So. You know, I I, I I I love to see that, you know, there was a little bit of, of a decline, but, you know, now since things are starting to, you know, kind of normalize a little bit more, there are some vaccines and stuff like that, you know, the, you know, um, having that prediction, you know, of a more prosperous or a, or a comeback in that sense, I found quite fascinating. Yeah, absolutely. And the other, I mean, the thing here is that, while COVID is awful, there's nothing that's really been good about it whatsoever. Mm -hmm. We can at least say that during 2020, you know, the our industry, access control industry, played a huge role in assisting in social distancing and providing like information on the location of staff and visitors for occupancy management thresholds, which is huge. You know, we want to keep track of how many people are in a building or just a room, just so we know people are not too close together. You know, like it's more and more I, people, or at least this industry are, whether it's integrators, vendors, what have you, they're gonna be looking for this kind of technology that can assist with, you know, occupancy management, as well as, you know, as we talked about last week, Bert, yeah. wellness verification. And then another thing we talked about before that is contact tracing. So it's just, it's access control is going to play a huge part. And essentially that is why we're seeing an increase over the next five years. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And let's not forget this one last little bit of information. Access control is still a much smaller business a very smaller business than video surveillance, but mm -hmm due to all the different acquisition acquisitions and stuff like that, you know, um, you know, there is significant growth to come in this field. So with that being said, that is the top news for this week. Um, and if you guys see anything out there um, that we may have missed or some good golden nuggets, 
um, that we can check out and present, um, just, you know, drop some comments below, like mm -hmm. and subscribe. Um, yeah, and definitely, you know, let us know. We love to hear what you got to say. I know this is very, uh, very specific video to access control, but please let us know what you think. And, you know, if there's something that you would love for us to talk about. Yeah, there's plenty to talk about on access controllers. Oh, yeah. Plenty of different pieces of technology. Video surveillance is actually just one of them. So yep. there we go, guys. Awesome. And with that, we're wrapping up week six, right? All right, let's wrap it up. In a twist. Woo, in a woo. twist. Thank you all, <laughs> all right. for watching all right. again. All right, we'll see you all later. Have a great weekend.